What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Today we've got this Mario mushroom design. There's a link in the description down below to the palette as well as my dust brush. And the canvas size for today is 2000 by 2000. And with all that said, let's get started. Once you've created your canvas, we're going to go up to our colors and we're going to go ahead and grab this color here in the middle of this far right column, drag it on to our canvas. That's going to act as our background color. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the colors again. We're going to go ahead and grab white in the top right of our palette here. It's just slightly off from white. We're then going to go to our brush library and we're going to use the dust brush that I've popped in the description down below. And I've maxed the brush size out about 100%. I'm going to zoom out. And then towards the top right corner, we're just going to add in a lovely little light source, roughly to about sort of diagonally, about halfway. And then we're going to go to our colors and we're going to grab the color in the bottom right of our palette, the bottom of that far right column. And in the bottom left, do exactly the same and come up to that sort of middle point, just adding in a nice little coat of color just to add in our background color. Let's then go ahead and go to our layers and create a new layer. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and go to our actions and we're going to go to canvas. We're going to edit the drawing guide. So we're going to first of all, turn it on and then tap on edit drawing guide. We're going to go to the far right column and we're going to use the options here of vertical. And then you can make your line in the middle, whatever color you like. If you need to see it a little bit more, you can change these settings down here, but I'm going to hit done. And what that allows us to do is if we go to our layer and it will now say assisted underneath, if it is a drawing assisted layer, you can paint on one side and it does it on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that to create all of our shapes. So we're going to go to our colors. We're going to go ahead and add in the top part of the mushroom first. Now the base color for this is the third column in our palette. Now the third column is all the base colors for all of our sections. So this color here, the third one on that middle row, we're going to go to our brush library. We're going to go ahead and go to calligraphy and the monoline brush. My brush size, if you're interested, is 40%, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that. For a second, we're going to go up to our layer. We're going to tap on the layer and turn off the drawing assist. And then we're going to go ahead and draw in a circle in the middle of the screen. Hold your pen and then pop your finger on the screen to get a nice perfect circle and something roughly around about that sort of size will do it. Then drag and drop your color in and grab your cursor and move that onto that line in the middle until it goes orange like so and roughly that sort of height, then tap on your cursor when you're done. Then you want to go ahead and go to your layers. We're going to tap back on the layer and turn on the drawing assist. Now we're going to go to our adjustments and liquify, and we're going to use the push option down here in the bottom left. So tap on this menu and pick liquify mode push. You can see the settings for my brush there at the bottom if you want to pause. Now you'll be able to see on the left hand side of your screen what it is you need to try and achieve. And we're just going to simply just push it out on one side because it's drawing assisted. It will do it on both sides. And we're just going to want to push this sort of corner outwards until we hit sort of a nice wide point sort of out here and then just round that off. So just create a nice smooth shape. So using the push tool just to create a nice beautiful curve into this corner and then pushing this down as well into here. And just creating a nice rounded sort of base towards the bottom and then should end up with something pretty close to this or you can see on the left anyway what it is to achieve so we're just trying to create that top area like so and then just refine any edges if necessary and then when you're happy go ahead and tap on your adjustments and then after that you've got the shape you need for the top half so let's now go ahead and create the second shape down here so we're going to go to our layers and create a new layer Let's go to our colors and grab the third column at the top row, the first color. We're then going to continue with the monoline brush and we're going to go ahead and draw in a circle in the middle of the screen like so, and then pop your finger on the screen when you're done and something roughly width wise like this, then drag your color in. Now, of course that's the wrong shape for now, but we're going to go to our cursor. First of all, make sure your snapping is turned on and then move that onto the orange line in the middle until roughly you get that sort of height. Tap on your cursor when you're done. Go to your layer. We want to make sure it's drawing assisted so we can push it on one side and it reflect it on both. Tap on that layer and drawing assist it. Let's then go to our adjustments and let's go to liquify. 
And we're going to go ahead and we're going to collapse this right down until we end up with something roughly sort of there. And then just bring those edges down as well. And we want to create somewhat of a sort of a rounded rectangle. So we want to make sure this line here is nice and curved where the hat here or the top part of the mushroom is resting on top of the face. So we're just going to round that corner in a little bit more. And then use a very small push if you need to, just to create some nice smooth edges like so. That looks good. And then do the same here as well. Push it up to roughly where that needs to be. So something roughly around about there. And then again, just use your liquify tool just to push. And if you end up with any lumps or bumps like that, you can always use your eraser afterwards if you want to flatten them out. But otherwise, you can just create a lovely rounded rectangle shape towards the bottom here and use a very small push here and there just to iron out your shape. And until you end up with something just like that, and then go to your adjustments. Next, let's go ahead and add in the eyes. So we're going to go up to our colors and we're going to double tap at the bottom of the disk to select black. Let's then go to our layers. Let's create a new layer and tap on that layer and drawing assist it. We're then going to go ahead and make our monoline brush up to 75% in size. And then we're going to draw in a straight line down for the eyes and then pop your finger on the screen to make sure they're nice and straight. And they are just literally that just straight lines for the eyes. And then the final shapes we need to create are the circles on the top of the actual mushroom. So if we go to our layers, let's go down to the actual red layer for the mushroom and create a new layer. Go to your colors and double tap in the top left hand corner to select white. We're then going to go ahead and draw in a circle in the middle of the hat area here or the mushroom and then pop your finger on the screen until we end up with a circle roughly around about that sort of size and drag and drop your color in. Now it's important you grab your cursor and make sure snapping is still turned on. And just pop it on that center line and then leaving a little bit of a gap like that at the top and tap on your cursor when you're done. We're then going to go ahead and go to that layer, tap on the layer and drawing assist it, tap on the layer and also clipping mask it to the red layer. That means now that we can only paint within the boundaries of the red layer because we're clipped to it. Meaning now if we go ahead and we draw in a arc on this side, it will then draw it in on both and we can only stay within the boundaries of the circle itself. And that's pretty good to me. We can let go and then just link up your points end to end and drag and drop your color in. So now you've created all your basic shapes. You've got everything you need to carry on with the shading part of this design. Now, before we do, I want to show you some of the tutorials that I've been posting over on my Patreon. Patreon supporters get access to even more tutorials every single month, as well as early access to YouTube videos and sneak peeks of tutorial designs before they go live. So come on over to my Patreon. There's a link in the description down below and let's get back to the tutorial. And then you've got all the shapes you need now to crack on with the actual shading and highlights. So let's do exactly that. Let's go to our layers. Let's go to the actual mushroom, the red layer first and start there and make our way up. Let's create another new layer. Let's go to our colors and take a look at what we've got. We have got the base color in the middle of the middle row. And then the two colors to the left are our highlights and the two colors to the right are our shadows. So we're going to start with shadows first as always. So grab the one just to the right of the base color, the fourth color on that middle row. Go to your brush library and go back to the texture brush that I've included in the description down below. So the dust brush. Now for this, let's make our brush size a bit smaller is that let's go a bit smaller than that again let's go to about sort of 20 percent and on the left hand side here we're just going to paint in this texture and darken up this side of the hat now what we do need to achieve here we need to create some sort of brow so i've gone down to roughly here and then i've left a gap and also i'm not going to come too close to this brow area so i'm just going to push that across to the right a little bit that's all so i've kind of done this sort of shape here we're then going to go ahead and do the underside of the mushroom because the mushroom sits on top of the head. We also need to go ahead and do that and create an under shadow. So I'm just drawing around the bottom edge here like that. That's going to add in a nice little bit of color to start with. I'm going to increase the size of that a little bit more because highlights can always sit on top of shadows. So it's a lot easier to just create the shape a little bit more afterwards. I'm just going to push that up towards the center a bit more. You'll notice that, of course, the white layer is clipped on top. Our shadowing that we're adding here will also have to reflect on the white area in a second. So we're going to have to just push this shadow towards the left hand side a bit more. And even just link that up just a tiny bit on the left there. So that's our basic shadows added in. We're then going to go ahead and go to our colors. We're going to go ahead and grab the bright red to the left of our base color. So the second column, the second color down, 
and then we're going to add in our highlights. So they're going to start over here, got a bit of a brighter red area, and we can just start to add in that cool texture meeting up in the middle and going down towards this right hand side, not too close to the edge. We want to leave a bit of a shadow, but you can see that we've got a nice bright side now. And what we will do while we're here is reduce the brush size down to about sort of 10% and then just create that brow area just above the top here. So I'm going backwards and forwards, just emphasizing that brow. So we've got a shadow underneath and then a nice bright patch that sits on the top there. And you can make that a little bit bigger if you wish. Something like that, just to really emphasize it. We're then going to go to our colors again and go to our next shadow color, which is this one here, the fifth color on that middle row. So the fifth color along. And then we're going to darken up our main shadows. I'm going to increase the size back up to about sort of 20% and darken up this left hand edge a lot more. Darkening that up, pushing it and blending it up into the other color that we created before. It's going to be quite a dark change, so just be prepared for that. Reduce your brush size down to maybe about 10% and darken up these corners here. Really important just to darken these up in there and the underside here even more. Just really darkening up this left hand side because the light source is on the right hand side. You can then feather off this highlight a little bit more. So you end up with something pretty close to that in terms of your shadows. Then we can zoom out. We can grab our highlight color now to the far left of that middle row. So this nice bright pink. Increase your brush size back up to about sort of 20% and then highlight this top area here in the top right. Like so, blend that into the white area a little bit more. And then bring that into the center too. And then this brow area too, we want to reduce the brush size down to about sort of 10% and just push that over the top of the brow. Letting it lightly just run over to the left hand side into the shadowed side, just where the light is dropping onto it. And bring that round like so. I'm just going to expand on it a little bit, make it a bit taller. What we also want to do is just add a reverb highlight on the left hand side. So we're going to increase the brush size up to maybe about sort of 15% and go around the very edge, just add in a bright reverb highlight around that left hand side. Now what I would say is this shadow area is probably a bit too dark, so it's all good. We can go to our colors and grab the base color again and the middle one in that middle row out of the five and then just maybe just gloss over it a little bit here, adding in a little bit of that brighter red towards the center area. Just dampening out a little bit more of those shadows, adding in a lot more red again all good with me. What we'll then do is go to our layers and we've got the circles at the top here on top of the mushroom. We're going to tap on them and we're going to alpha lock them, meaning we can now only paint within the boundaries of them. So an alpha lock locks you onto the layer you actually are with. We're then going to go to our colors. We've got then these nice little collections of blues, which are going to act as our shadow color for white areas. So third column, very bottom color. We're then going to go back to our layer and we're going to tap on the layer and turn off the drawing assist because our shadows now need to be unsymmetrical from one another. And we're going to just draw in, our brush size is about 20%, follow our shadows. So this left hand side is now going to get very, very blue. Even the middle dot's going to get a lot of blue on it till that sort of middle point and let that run over a little bit. And then the very right edge, we can just darken up the very right side. So just a little bit around there. You might not see a lot of visual change, but if we then go to our colors and grab the third color, which is the fourth column, the very bottom, we're then going to go ahead and reflect them even more. So just darkening up your shadows and this texture is going to really come to life. You can see my shadow rolls all the way around to here because we added that reverb around the outside. So we're just matching that. It's going around there. The left hand side of this dot here, look at that, how we paint that texture in. That looks awesome. And the very right edge down here, we'll just darken that up the tiniest bit more. And now that's looking awesome. Let's go back to our red layer underneath with all our highlighted and shadows on. We're going to go to our colors and double tap in the top left hand corner to select white. And then my brush size is going to be set to about sort of, let's go for about sort of 20% again. And on this right hand side, we're just going to emphasize the highlights even more with white. Just add a nice glossy coat over the top there. Blend that down into here a little bit more. Down into there is also good. And then if you want to, you can reduce your brush size down to about sort of 10% and then just push 
that highlight just over the brow, more so towards the right where the light's coming down onto it. And just push it across like so, over that middle point. And then just link it up to your big highlight. Now that's looking awesome. Let's go ahead and then go to our layers. Let's work on the yellow layer. So let's create a new layer above it and tap on that layer and clipping mask it. Let's go to our colors. Let's then grab the first shadow color to the right. So this is our base color. We're going to grab this color here, the fourth color on that top row with the same brush and making it back up to sort of about 20%. We're going to go ahead and darken up the left hand side. So darkening up that left hand side, we want to make sure we add in a shadow underneath the hat where it sits on top of the mushroom part sits on top of the head. And then just let that run out to the right. So almost creating like a C shape where the middle of the face is still nice and bright. But we've got the shadow from above down here. And then we've got the shadow underneath as well. Now that's your basic shadow. Let's then go ahead and go to our colors. Let's grab the darker tone to the right of it. So the fifth color on that top row, so the fifth column along. I'm going to reduce the brush size down a smidge to about sort of 12%. And then first of all, darken up that shadow underneath there at the top. Really darkening that up. And then the left hand side as well. And then just very lightly gloss over your shadows just to the left hand side of the design only. And then just let that run into your medium shadows that we just created. If you want to, you can maybe emphasize the left hand edge a bit more. And then fade that in by just pressing very lightly here and there just to drop in some extra dots. And just push that round like so. And see if we can just darken up this shadow here as well. Let's then go to our colors and switch out to a brighter tone. So the second column, the top color, and then on this right hand side in the highlighted space that we've left, I'm going to brighten this right hand area up a little bit more like so. And then a little bit in the middle of the face, just a little bit around the bottom. And then around the left hand side, we're just going to go around that very bottom left corner, add in a reverb highlight and maybe around the bottom too right around here this really makes it look quite animated so around that bottom left corner you can see now it goes highlight into shadows into the main colors and then the actual face itself now that's looking pretty good let's go ahead and go to our shadows again let's grab the fifth color on the top row reduce the brush size right down to about sort of four percent and we're going to zoom in now and we're going to shadow up the left hand side of the eyes so we're just drawing like straight lines up and down the left hand edge just like that. And then same over here, just up and down that left hand side, pressing super lightly, just to add in a nice shadow on that left hand side. That helps them stand off. Now the eyes themselves need a nice little highlight. So we're gonna to go to our layers. We're gonna to go to the layer above. So it's the eye here. I'm actually just gonna tap on that layer and alpha lock it and paint directly on it. I'm gonna leave the drawing assist on and I'm gonna to go to my colors and double tap in the top left hand corner to select white. And then what's my brush size looking like? Let's reduce that down even smaller, about three or 2%. And you can only do one eye if you need to, just right in the center, circular motion towards the top of the eye, and then just push that down. So we're creating like a teardrop look on the eyes here, but making sure we do it right in the middle of the eye, not leaning one side, because it's drawing assisted, you'll end up leaning left or right a little bit too much. And if we zoom out, the final touch is to go ahead and go to our layers. Go underneath the red layer for the actual mushroom head, create a new layer, grab your colors and grab this color here at the bottom of the fifth column. Make your brush size roughly around about sort of 15%. And then underneath the actual mushroom itself, just create a little rounded shadow and left to right, left to right, left to right. And then push that out diagonally a little bit to the back left hand corner and creating a casted shadow really darken it up on your bottom left hand corner if you wish just let that fade out towards that left hand side and if you want to you could grab your eraser tap on your eraser and change it to the texture brush that we've just been using so the dust brush and then increase your brush size and maybe just fade that out on the end if you press a little bit too firm we want a nice super soft casted shadow and then if we go up to our actions and turn off our drawing guide so we don't get the line on the screen anymore and pinch with two fingers and go full screen with four, 
we end up to with today's finished result. So I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy little mushroom design from Mario. If you did, drop a like down below and be sure to share your designs with me over on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below to all of my socials. And shout out to all of my patrons. I'll throw their names up on the screen now. Patreon supporters get access to even more tutorials every single month, as well as early access to videos, sneak peeks of upcoming designs and much more. So hit the link in the description down below. And if you're interested in any of the equipment, I'm using the Sketchboard Pro or the paper light screen cover, or the pen tips grip and glove. There's links to everything in the description down below. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.